Hey, welcome to our September-October issue of Parenting Special Needs Magazine. Hi, I'm Shantae. Well, we should all be in full swing of the new school year. I hope so. It always seems that the late August, early September is such a busy time of the year for all of us. And for those of us in the southeast coastal part of the country, Hurricane Dorian certainly didn't do anything to alleviate any of our stress or pressure. But as I've been saying to myself and to um, a friend and anybody else that needed to hear it is, you got this. You got this. In this issue, we will be discussing colleges, independence, and self-advocacy. And please know that it's never too early in your child's life to begin teaching these skills and preparing them for a successful future. And speaking of the future, college may be closer than you think. We highlight and discuss inclusive colleges. You know, the steps to take, where to start, admission requirements, how to pay for it, and much more. So be sure to check it out. One of the most important skills students should have before going to college or in life is can you guess? Self-advocacy. <laughs> Our cover girl is Elizabeth Gianetti. Her mother, Michelle, shares the steps their family used to help Elizabeth uh, gain independence and self-advocacy skills. So be sure to check that article out as well. And then in our Listen In podcast, Elizabeth and my daughter, Kaylee, actually interview each other and then Michelle and I talk about our experiences raising our daughters, approaches to helping our children grow, and transitioning to the next stage of their lives, which is work and college. So give it a listen. It is real life, and you may learn a few things from our experiences. We also have an article in this issue by a speech pathologist who talks about some, I'm gonna call them untruths. We'll just use that word that you might've heard from school districts about American Sign Language or augmentative and alternative communication devices. I think it's important for us to all know the facts. I share about IEP meeting overwhelm. Have you ever experienced it? I'm sure you have. Well, we all need to deal with IEPs during our child's educational process. And some of you might be going through it right now. I wanna help by sharing some insights and a new way of thinking about IEP meetings that I recently just figured out. I just figured it out now after my daughter has graduated and is no longer having IEPs. I guess, Hindsight really is 2020, and I wanted to share this with you all because I want you to know, I want you to know it now. Did I mention now? Because your child's education is at stake. Lastly, during the process of writing and formulating the Overwhelm article for you all, I came up with a new saying that I'm gonna start using probably on a regular basis. So you may get tired of hearing it, but I think it's pretty good. Take a deep breath. Breathe in self-confidence. And when you exhale, breathe out self-assurance. And remember, you got this. There is a lot more information in this issue. And I trust you will take a moment to check it out. Please enjoy this issue and I will talk to you soon.